This is my newest remote control car. I try to make it as small as possible. So you have here in front, the wheel distance is um, as small as I could make it with a very simple steering mechanism. Of course, no suspension, that would be far too complicated. You have the servo motor in the middle and then the uh, L motor in the back with, uh, with a transmission of gears here. So um, it's trying to make it a bit faster. And then of course the battery pack on top and the infrared receiver. So this is as small as I could make it. So to demonstrate the steering, um, it is actually very agile in the sense that it can really turn the wheels quite hard. And in the back, the motor is going at a good speed. So, let's take this baby for a test drive. As you can see, this car is very fast and has a very good turn radius. And because it's so fast and has such an extreme steering, um, you get to slide a lot, which is great fun. And um, the fixed axle is really pushing the wheels forward. So it's not a smooth ride, but very fast, agile, and just fun. This is the second car for today. Um, it's a little bit bigger, um, but also again, simplicity is king. So I try to keep it as simple as possible. So there's no um, suspension system, uh, a very straightforward uh, steering system that um, uh, is just very robust and reliable. In the back, this time we have uh, the typical differential and uh, when we take it for a ride we'll see how this changes the behavior of the car. Um, again, um, I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible and as small as possible. So you have just the servo, the battery, the motor uh, very close together and um, yeah, so let's take this baby for a test drive. What you can see immediately is that the turning is much smoother. The differential is really kicking in, making it possible for the radius on the inside and the outside wheel to be different. So this is much nicer driving. Not quite as fast because of the gear ratio, but still very good fun to drive. 